Hello, Jason here from septictank.co.uk. So, watch more TV, watch Septic Tank TV. That's right, if you want to see the UK's only live Septic Tank TV channel, then just go to Google and type in Septic Tank TV and you'll see more of me. And I've got tons of videos, live videos on there um, regarding septic tanks, septic tank ban, septic tank insulation, septic tank repairs, etc., etc., etc. And I love doing these live broadcasts because I love helping people and answering their questions. So let's get on with the show. Okay, so today I'm going to talk about something that's very close to my heart and um, it's stressing a lot of people out at the moment. It's called septic tank ban. Septic tank ban. So what the heck is a septic tank ban? What is all this about? Well, whew, it's very hot today, by the way. Right, okay, and it's getting a lot of people hot under under the collar, that's why I come out with that. So, septic tank ban. So, are all septic tanks across the UK gonna be banned? No, okay. Which septic tanks will be banned and why, and when will they be banned? Okay, so, on the 1st of January, 2020, <coughs> New rules and regulations come into force from the UK government, right? And basically, any septic tank that, let me just put this on here, discharges into a water course will become illegal so the septic tank ban is basically targeting <coughs> septic tanks that discharge into water courses so if your septic tank discharges into a stream into a brook into a culvert into a lake into anything where there's water really the sea on the 1st of january 2020 it will become illegal full stop and this is really, really, really stressing people out because it's just another problem that they've got to deal with on top of life, right? I, and I get that. This is why I make these live broadcasts, not to give you the bad news. I'm just telling you what's coming. This is the calm before the storm, whether you like it or not. This is happening, right? And uh, there's a lot of misinformation on the internet about all this. But, and so this is why I do these live broadcasts. All right, so uh, if, if what's happening is government inspectors will go around after this date we're not entirely sure where nor how many is going to come around but they will come around and they'll they've got these like little devices that they put in the water in the streams and if they find your septic tank is polluting that water course that stream that brook that river whatever then they'll say right you must stop using your septic tank right now you must decommission it and you must fix the problem so that's what's happening right that is exactly what's going to happen so many firms are going around to people's houses and they're saying oh you know your septic tank's illegal and it probably is illegal right so th that's fine <laughs> okay everything's normal up there but then they'll say well we've got to charge you 15 20 25 35 thousand quid to relocate or replace your septic tank and soak away well that is where the um taking advantage of people really starts to annoy me because I have lots of people ringing me up who are distraught that they've suddenly got to pay 15, 20 grand out to fix their septic tank problems. You don't have to do that, please. The whole reason I'm making these broadcasts is because I want to give you some free advice and save you some money. So the good news, so let me just tell you two things as how you can make your septic tank legal so if your septic tank does not discharge into a water course, you still need to make it legal and compliant. And I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But just let me help the people. Just let me help the people, first of all, whose uh, septic tank does discharge into a water course or a stream. All right. So let me show you a really simple and easy way that you can make your septic tank legal if it discharges into a stream. And the answer is really simple. Right, you just get yourself a septic tank converter. 
Right, a septic tank converter is like a little square box that bolts on to your septic tank and all and it turns raw sewage into lovely clean safe water all right that can carry on discharging into your water course no they don't cost 15 grand they don't cost 20 grand they don't cost 25 grand they're 2999 and you can get them from septictank.co.uk they'll save you 12 22,000 quid so please before you have a firm quoting your ridiculous amounts of money to flip in put in a flaming new completely new system for your relocator please 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 consider getting yourself a septic tank converter so that is my tip number one it'll save you thousands of pounds right and as i said if you want to see more information on this then just go to septic tank tv or go to septic tank uk there are tons of information on this number two <clears throat> so what if you've got a septic tank that doesn't discharge into a water course um uh what do you do about that? Well, there's certain things that you still need to do, otherwise your septic tank still won't be compliant. And let me show you something here. I'll be back in a sec. You see this? This is called, and I speak about these a lot, this is called a government compliance form. 99% of septic tank owners up and down the country do not have one of these. This form will make your septic tank fully legal and compliant. So please, please, please get yourself a, a septic tank compliance from, from septictank.co.uk. They're free. I don't want any money off you. You just go to septictank.co.uk, click the septic tank button, put your name and email address in there. You'll get one of these within two or three seconds of, of signing up. Download, is, download and then print off as many copies as you want. Put one in your utility room, lodge one with your solicitor. It'll save you thousands of pounds. How will it save you money? Well, just let me put here, first of all, septic tank. <clears throat> well, in fact, if I actually do it the other way around, here we go. All right, so government compliance, compliance form for septic tanks bang there you go so that government compliance form it really comes to light when you come to sell your house so let's say some people are buying your house the solicitor representing the people who are buying your house will want to know about your septic tank in reality most people haven't got any documentation of the septic uh, about the septic tank about the condition it's in the state it's in blah 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 all they've got is septic tank emptying receipts and they're no good the solicitor doesn't and so that doesn't instill confidence in the people buying a septic tank right? uh, buying your house with a septic tank right so what they'll end up doing they'll get some people to come and do a site inspection and the people will go whoa, whoa, that septic tanks in a bad state and then they'll say, well, we go, yeah, love, I, I wouldn't buy that house unless they replace that septic tank, right? And then they'll get quotes for 15, 20, 25,000 quid. So they'll come back to you and they'll, um, and they'll, they'll say, right, okay, we want to reduce the price of your house down by 15 grand because we don't believe your septic tank is in a good state of repair. And this is doing people's heads in because it's 15 grand plus. I mean, some people have been quoted 20, 25,000 quid, whatever. That form will save you 15,000 quid, 20,000, 25,000 quid because you just literally get it. You fill in the blanks on there. You, you, on there, you can tell them what suit system you've got, <clears throat> the capacity of it, what it's made from, the age of it, how often you maintain it, blah, 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 blah. You date it, you sign it. And when you come to sell your house, even if you're not going to sell your house for another 20 years, right? The government inspectors after the 1st of Jan 2020 will come around and ask to see these, right? So if you've got one to hand in the kitchen, you can just hand it to him. He'll look at it and say, wow, responsible septic tank owner you are. And then they'll go away again. So that is number two as, as to how to make your septic tank legal so i hope that's helped you today that those are just my two tips of the day i've got loads of tips but the point being is if you want to see tons more tips just go to 
septictank.co.uk or septic tank tv septic tank tv there's tons of stuff on septic tank tv if you want to watch more tv and you've got a septic tank and you want to see more of me then just go to septic tank tv how about that but listen thank you very much for watching this live broadcast today poor oh, man alive i've got to go and put my sunglasses on and my sun cream today because it, it's roasting outside but listen you take care and i'll speak to you soon